Previously, on Grack and Shadow played Crystal Pokemon and Crystal, Hero liberated the radio tower. And this episode, he's going to go off and do more stuff. And Shadow brought in tons of hate from the internet to Draken Shadow because he doesn't like who is making Battlefront. Of course not. Let's get back into this. So, you know, you, you're obviously dissatisfied with the fact that EA got brought in. Yes. Okay. I would do. Okay, I'm gonna make a. By the way, I gotta get some charcoal. That's why I'm here. Okay, go ahead. So I, I gotta play devil's advocate here for a second. All right. Like like I said in the previous one, just to maintain episode continuity. If Battlefront was to be remade here and now, there are likely only two teams that could possibly do it, at least as far as the gaming world is concerned with any justice. EA with DICE, or Activision with Infinity War. Or, um, not, not Infinity War, but whoever makes the, the active Modern Warfare games these okay. days. So, which, so you're saying you would have preferred Activision doing it? No, I'm not saying any of them should be doing it. I mean, okay. did you really need to disband LucasArts Disney? Did you? Did you? <laughs> I miss LucasArts, Alex. I mean, I can't, re I I can't remember who, who, besides LucasArts, who is the developer of the other Battlefront games? Um, Pandemic. Pandemic. And Pandemic, I think, got absorbed into... Oh. I actually think Pandemic got absorbed into uh, EA. Of course they did. God damn EA. So um, get, get into the trailer and, and why you don't like it. Because it doesn't show anything. It's the same tr bullshit trailer. Oh, it shows with... something. Uh, no, it just it's... shows a lot of controlled in-game footage, which is not enough to go off of. Yes. And this is a video game. I want to see the gameplay. Who's there? Leave me and my Pokemon alone. But yeah, it's like, it's a video game. Come on, you already gave us that lame-ass teaser at E3. And now... That wasn't a teaser. I refuse to call that a teaser. Then what kind of a trailer was it? It was not a trailer. It was a documentary about how the the dice team went to Skywalker Ranch. No, you're wrong. It was a trailer. It was a trailer about a documentary about how EA and Dice went to Skywalker Ranch. So basically, <laughs> it was like a fifth graders what I did during the summer. Pretty report. much. Pretty what much. we did during this summer, we went to Skywalker Ranch and saw the lightsabers and all of the cool things that are in the Star Wars movies. Thank you. <laughs> all right, so yeah, Pandemic Studios and Savage Entertainment worked on the PSP port. Um, I just wanna see. Yes, Pandemic is a subsidiary of, of Electronic Arts. Why? So maybe that's also why they got it is because I'll bet that Pandemic got absorbed into DICE because DICE is the shooter, the shooter arm of EA. And therefore they said, oh, well, we have a bunch of pandemic people here, yeah, so we could do it justice. Is it dice based like in Sweden or somewhere? Or Finland Doesn't or something? Matter. I mean, if they're a subsidiary of the EA, then they probably just said, well, you know, they can help us work on Battlefront. The only thing I would say to EA's discredit is that I'll guarantee you that nobody from pandemic is in any leadership position in this project. Mm -hmm. It's all dice. As we've kind of seen, because uh, I don't know if you guys saw the story, but the the head of Dice uh, actually just barely left the company because of the whole uh, craptastic fare that was Battlefield Cops and Robbers Edition. I'm sorry, Hardline, Hardline, and I, I he left of his own accord. But the whole story had the whole reeking of he was kicked out. Right. Because Hardline did not do that well. Um, no, I'm sorry. He, he the head of Visceral, because they were in charge of that. Which pretty much guarantees that all Dead Space fans, you're not getting another game. Because he was the guy behind those. Oh, well, bummer for Dead Space fans. Yep. No Dead Space 4 for you. At least not a Dead Space 4 that you would be looking forward to. And we're going to fight off a Kangas Kangas Khan. Kangas, 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 gone. I don't know where we're going with all this stuff, but... 
That was a po- so, that was an episode reference. So yeah, you, Alice has given his opinion on the battlefront. I will give mine, which is basically it tells us nothing. Um, it it looks cool. It looks very good, but it is a very controlled in-game trailer. It does not show actual gameplay. It is in engine. I'll give them that. I really. But I'm, it's not gameplay. It's, a, it's a trailer. I'm still doubting that's in engine. I'm willing to bet you anything that's pre-rendered. No, that that looked that looked like the engines that I've seen from Dice. Yeah, maybe you're right. Except except for Mirror's Edge, but the less said about that piece of trash, the better. And we've now gone full circle back to Anita Sarkeesian. Uh, How dare you make fun of Mirror's Edge? We need to get Anita off of that project. No, Mirror's Edge 2 just doesn't need to happen. You demonstrated to me. <coughs> I'm sorry. So, every time I see a Pokemaniac, I want to pull out the Mandark. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're wondering why I'm here in Union Cave, well, as of this record, the day I've recorded this is Friday. And when you come to Union Cave on Friday, you can find a special Pokemon in here. You go down surfing with Lapras right there. It looks like its eyes are so big. I think it's actually Polychan he's using, isn't it? Yeah, but it's yeah, using but... the Lapras Sprite. Yeah, it's the generic Lapras Sprite. Oh, doesn't Eevee look cute? Oh, he does. Now to smash his face in. <laughs> what you hate? There, there's an oxymoron in here somewhere. Excuse me, guys. Sorry, it's, Whoa, it's a freaking allergy season. Yay! So are we actually going to see another evolution of Polychan, or are you just going to keep him as Poliwhirl? I will evolve it late, a little later. To Are you going down the Toad route, or... Um, I don't even know Polyraph. how to get po uh, Poliwrath. I don't even know how to get Politoad. I think it's with a... King's Rock. King's Rock. Oh, it's a trade? Okay. No, yeah, I don't think you have to trade it, but... I think you need to have a, ki a king's rock. Why do I think it's a leaf stone? I don't know. Not for that one. To the internet! No, we're not doing that. Why not? We just did. Dra Drac has spent enough time on the internet and I can't look up sites like the ones I would look up. Unless I do this, but nobody can see this happening. <laughs> so this does not disrupt continuity at all. Right, Alex? Of course. Sure, sure. All right, let's see here. So, haha, <laughs> you got Flareon. I probably better just look up Poly or uh, Poliwag. 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 That's more Poliwhirl. Poliwhirl. <laughs> cool trader Gwen's about to use Vaporeon. Well, I bet. I bet Alex is just trying to get up to a good high level to get all the good. Um, yeah, he's trying to get the move set the completed moves before he evolved to Polyrath or something. Actually, it's more like I have to wait for a Water Stone to come my way. That too. But if you evolve it too soon, it won't learn certain abilities. Pretty much. And it's the same with the lad too. I'm just gonna go ahead and lay this out right here. I actually had to cheat to get the stones needed to get. Uh, what did you find out when you looked it up? So, uh, Polyrath is through a water stone. Of course. And then, I know that. Uh, King's Rock is how you evol evolve to Polytoad. I don't know which one is more useful. I mean, like, Polyrath is basically just a fighting water type, like Poliwhirl is. Politoed, I think, adds the grass type to it. I don't know. You tell me. You got the guide up. Uh, let's see. Classification. No, it's just a water type. Okay. It's just a froggy. Uh, if you just like frogs, I'd go with the Politoed then. N no. No, that requires more explanation than that. Why would you go with the Politoed? I guess if you want the pure water your type. Own personal cheerleader. Just like Misty's. What? That's really sad that I remember what she's talking about. Don't you remember that, Alex? Something about personal cheerleading? No. Well. It was like an overly happy Politoed. Yeah, when Misty's, uh. 
Polly Whirl evolved to a Polytoad. <coughs> it was kind of like, almost like if it were to be a cheerleader, almost. Uh oh. I had no idea she even had a Polly Whirl. She eventually had a Polywag at one point, and then it evolved to Polly Whirl. Yeah, she then... she got that in um, Johto, didn't she? The yeah. Polywag? <laughs> Like I said, I don't remember most of Jeddah. It's a blur to me. That's because most of it's filler. Pretty much. And then a I think Ash won a King's a King's Rock at some point. And then um, the Poliwhirl ended up holding the King's Rock and evolved into Politoad. <laughs> Ash actually won something? I know, right? <laughs> it almost seems like he would never win anything. Until he wins, like, every, he wins, like, all the championships, doesn't he? No, he never wins any championships. Oh. Except for, except for, um, Orange Islands. Yeah, he won that. Oh, what do you but know? But that doesn't officially count. It still counts. Why, well, technically, it kind of does count, because we're just talking Ash. We're not, so, even though the Orange Islands is a completely, is a complete filler arc. As far as Ash Ketchum goes, yeah, so he has won a championship. Yeah, but not, I don't think any of the official ones. Yeah. Like, he's never won the Johto one, he's never won Hoenn, Sinnoh, or uh, Unova. No. But that's just to keep the series going. Yeah. Well, maybe he'll finally win... Call oh us. man, I, I think I've done something horrible and wrong again. I, I tried to look up Politoed on uh, Google Images. Guys, seriously. Rule 34 should not apply to everything. Okay, I think this is actually from the series, so that I think is Misty's Politoed. Where it's overly cheery. Oh, okay. I, I need to double check it. Does that look right? Oh yeah. Okay. The water's so calm. Would you like to say? And this is the reason why frickin' Rule 34, seriously, guys. Even to cutesy things, they they do this. Hero found an elixir. Because this, of course, was another thing that came up on the Google Images search for Pokemon anime Politoed. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, those deviant artists. They're quite the deviants, if I do say so. Uh, I guess it's better than looking up Misty on it. Oh, I actually geez. have a... That's funny, I have a deviant art account, but I almost never use it, because... Frankly, I can't you draw worth shit. No! No! I learned my lesson, boys and girls! No! There are two kinds of people. Those who have style, and those who don't. What kind of person are you? I'm a person with swag. You're a person with swagger? Not swagger, swag. But I get what you were going there. You got the swagger, so you got the moves like Jagger? You, oh. could, you could tell I spent way too much time in a radio station <laughs> just because I can reference uh, current songs. I thought you were talking about the moves. And, and I'm sorry, now I have to do this. And, and, and now Alex is Dallas be... Curiosity is getting the best of him, and he's actually looking it up. <laughs> Because Andrea will not let me drop it, so... Well, you don't have to look it up. I was only joking. <laughs> yeah, she's only joking, man. Well, but I, I don't want her to joke again. Nick's about to use Beldasaur. This dude's got all the starters. See, Too the bad. The problem is, is that when you look up the main female characters of a Pokemon series... Oh, man. <laughs> you get crap like that. All right, let me see. That's a... That's the... This is a tasteful one. You know, he was just looking up the things that you sh You know... That... I don't want to, but they came up like... Okay, I, I will even show. Like... Let me see the p whole page. I, I will do the search that I actually did so people can... Can appreciate it. And, and so many people are like, No! Don't do it! <laughs> It's then, not worth it at... Yeah, yeah, it kind of is. Because if I don't do this, then it's not going to end for me. Considering I'm editing these, I'm gonna put that on screen. <laughs> the squirtle looks really derpy. Yippee! So yeah, you get stuff like that. Oh my! <laughs> and people are wondering what, what? No, I'm not even gonna link this stuff in the show notes. Sorry, sorry guys. Leave a comment in the subscription below if if 
you have a comment to say. Here's another one. Listen, I want to see. Okay, I'll have to find these and put them on screen when I edit this later. Oh, no, don't do that! No! That's not really not that... Oh, that's not bad. They're just... Oh, you want bad? They're sitting around looking cute. You want bad? Okay, we can go there. I didn't ask for bad, I'm just saying. But, like, you're freaking out over that one? No, I'm not necessarily freaking out over that one. Uh, uh, Give it a second and I can... They're young, dark, they're young pretty, and bishojo. Yeah, I cover for me here, because uh, Google Images is taking forever to load. Well, now we're going to go take on the special Pokemon. If you haven't guessed already, because we already saw the sprite on screen, by the way. Uh, I'm guessing it's a shiny. It's not a shiny. Oh, really? No. Oh, Suicune? No. Oh. Nope, not yet. It's Lapras! Look at those eyes! <laughs> Ooh. It stares into your soul. Look into the eyes. The fa the pa or what was it that Romney did? The the pale expression yeah. or the blank expression. Wouldn't the that eyes be of funny murder. if it turned around and saw you and had the exclamation mark and it's ready to battle you? Like, hey there, fight! Yeah, I don't know why I bother saving the hard Rom when I can just save state. And yes, I'm actually going to capture this. I'm not going to use it, but I'm going to capture it. Why? So yeah, Lapper shows up every Friday in Union Cave. And all you need is Sir. Thank God it's Regia. What do you mean you woke up? Oh, now you put me to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, that's the way it's gonna be, huh? Hmm? Well, I got awakening, bitch. It's really hard to carry a conversation by myself. Yes, okay. I apologize. I'm, I'm just... Get off of that. No! <laughs> I refuse. This is gonna be that one episode of Game Grumps where, uh... Where Ross wouldn't get off the... Get off of his Twitter. <laughs> which is appropriate because it was a dating sim that they were doing. Yeah, and he's just trying to find the most, uh... There we go. Something like that! That is... <laughs> We're getting a little friendly with May. Yeah, that's why I'm saying. Oh, he knocked it out. Yeah, I knocked it out, so... And then, he res and then I reset. I think it's worse than that, but I'm it not looking me, up anymore. Oh, I think it took me, like, three or four attempts to catch Lapras between... B ball and so bust you, outs and uh that's how you magic cut it yeah that's probably a good idea lapras so dynamo. basically you captured this lapras only to subject it to a life inside a ball pretty much well that's what you do with any pokemon <laughs> you no, hate her he just, he just goes back to professor oak and goes and <coughs> enjoy the backyard of his enjoys the pokemon yard. corral i'm going to name it nessie because it's like the Loch Ness Monster. I think that's the direct inspiration for Lapras, isn't it? Probably. The Loch Ness Monster? Probably. Yeah, I don't use... I'm not going to use Lapras in this game, but... To the Dex! No, I don't even think they've covered Lapras, have no, they? No, I don't think so. There you go, Dex. Yeah, I was... I, like I was saying... Here's a Patreon supporter right here. He has to suggest Lapras now. <laughs> Forget his favorite Pokemon... He now has to suggest Lapras. Yeah, I should do that. I should do that. Mr. Owl! Alright, where to next, Alex? To Mahogany Town! Are we getting that are, are we getting that nice counter finish of Mahogany? <laughs> yep. Okay. Oh yeah, sorry. So like I was saying, I'm not gonna use Lapras in this, but stay tuned for Pokemon Leaf Green when I actually will use Lapras. Yes, because Lapras will be a, a decent ice type, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that looks like a psychic. Without capturing Articuno, anyway. 
on a good cheeks. I don't think you can get that. That Natsu is just giving you a look of I'm totally better than you. <laughs> Not either. That's actually one Pokemon I don't think ever got shown in the series, right? It, it did. It Natu did. and Zatu? Natu and Zatu both got featured. Yeah. And an episode so deliciously pawned, Zatu the Future. Please tell me a DeLorean came out of nowhere. I wouldn't know. With Professor Oak looking like Doc Brown. <laughs> that would have been awesome. But no, that never happens. No. So funny, they did like a in there was an episode of the Fairly Odd Parents where Timmy starts tra traveling through time a little bit, and yeah, they did show a DeLorean briefly. Yes, and I I think I know the episode you're talking about, and that was yeah. awesome. Um, the other one that I I was hit by the future sight. Oh my goodness! It's a good thing Polly. It's a good thing I'm not part fighting yet. Otherwise, that really would have hurt. I always like to picture Future Sight as this following ability, and this is one of those few times where I actually will quote SpongeBob. It's that one episode where Squidward goes forward in time, oh, and yeah. just all of a sudden, FUTURE! FUTURE! <laughs> That's Future Sight. Now you can forever not unsee it. <laughs> yeah. Be you really like that, don't you? You're welcome, Internet. I like that moment. Uh, I'm not saying I'm a big fan of SpongeBob. That's a great episode. That's a, sh <coughs> that's a shocking loss. <sighs> what is it, Mom? Whatever it is, it'll have to wait, because I don't care. Yeah. It's just the usual. I bought something with your money. Go buy it. Now, please go pick it up. What the is it? my money, Mom. It's my money. I earned it. Push your Edgar wants to battle. I saw the rubberite. <laughs> No, you didn't, honey. Your Pokemon earned it for you. No, I got the Pokemon. It's my money. <laughs> Stop spending my money. Did you know in the beta version of this game, you could actually name your mother? You could? Yeah. I wonder how many people in the beta actually would have named it Delia. <laughs> Probably quite a few. I want my mom to be like Ash. By the, by the way, can I can I just kind of get something off my chest really quick? Okay. So I, I just, for the heck of it, decided to go look up a Jay Witz episode. Yeah. Because this thing came up on my suggestions. Who is Ash's dad? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's really? Good. There are theories about Pokemon being Ash's dad. Of course there are. It's Including his Pikachu. <laughs> Including his Pikachu. I wonder how they came up with those ideas. I don't know. You know what? I don't want to know. There's Rule a... 34 that... Cr no. Mom, what is it? <laughs> Dang it, Mom! Stop spending my money! It's my money! Why do you have to spend my money all the time? She wants you to be like a girl and have all these dolls. It's important to have conviction by their side. She's just angry because you didn't choose a female character, so you have to have all this dog. I think, I think we found the episode title, Direct's Mom Rant. <laughs> ah. That's true. Yeah, perhaps I should have picked the female player character, considering how many dolls Mother has bought for me in this LP. This is true. This <laughs> really is. But like I said, I picked the I picked the female in Leaf Green, so I wanted to be the male here. I swear, every time you turn up, you speed up the footage, I just want to go shift into turbo. <laughs> well, I just think of the Kane and Kodos moment where they like speed up the universe and then it obliterates. <laughs> <coughs> By the way, speaking of that, so have you have you actually tried to use the uh, Simpsons World app? No, I don't use apps. The one that actually lets you watch every episode. No. I tried. That th that crap's broken. You added him to your phone list. Yes, I did. I'll do anything to get my hands on rare Pokemon. Mmm, anything. <laughs> Shift into Turbo! Boy, his name is Zack, and he's a Pokemaniac. Could you say, Alex, that mighty engines roar? Are yes, they turbocharged for more? No, I'm saying... Uh, 
Pay attention, I'm saying that this guy's name is Zack, and he's a Pokemaniac! Does he do hip hop Aikido too? I'm not that Zack. Don't you remember those Lego those Lego commercials about Zack and he's a Lego maniac? Yeah, yeah. yeah Zack! Zack! He's a Pokemaniac! Yes, I do, but I, I'm, I'm sticking to my whole shift in to turbo! And it's Charmeleon! One of these times, Andrea is gonna reach around and smack me upside the head <laughs> for doing something ADD oriented. Ow! Dang it, Andrea! It's a total loss on my part. But I'm so cool. That's why I always have my thumb elongated. Your thumb elongated? <laughs> <laughs> He's not, um, he's not from the Fantastic Four, unfortunately. Good trainer Did you just call the four? She called it the four? The Fantastic Four. Because Reed Richards is elastic, and Sue can fade from sight. Johnny is the Human Torch, and the Thing, of course, just loves to fight. Oh, yeah. Uh, Fantastic what? Four! Fantastic Four! Mr. Owl, he's trying to learn takedown. How many takedowns does it take to knock you out? Let's find let's out. Let's find out. A one, a two, a three, a three. <laughs> Apparently he, take, he took, not only took the Pokemon down, he also bit it. I think we found the title for this episode, which is ADD Madness. I thought it was, uh... Is this because I'm speeding through all either, these either battles? Either that or Drac hates mom. Drac hates mom. And Sylvia Johto, player name's mother. Do you know about the legendary bird Pokemon? Yeah, so I know that they're not in this game, but they are in Heart Gold Soul Silver. Aren't they in this game? No, well, Articuno, Articuno, Moltres, and Zapdos are not. But of course, Ho Oh and Lugia are. They are in, um, in the remakes, aren't they? Yes, they are in the remakes, but not in this one. And it, but they don't have as epic a plot line as, you know, the power of one. No. There's no... Which kind of ma doesn't make much sense, because you can capture these birds in the games, no problem. But apparently you try and capture them in the anime world, and boom, all havoc breaks loose. Exactly. The balance of the Earth is forever destroyed. Which is funny, because they never did anything along those angles with, like, the three, the three cats, for, or three cats, three dogs from this gen. Or the Reggies from Gen 3. Well, they rarely... It's... Oh, no, no. I, I'm sorry. I just had an idea that I need to explain to people. You capture all the Reggies, and you can find them. And then all of a sudden, the way that the world is destroyed is a giant Reggie fils comes out of nowhere and tells you, Oh, my body is ready to destroy you. Are you talking about um, the... See, the... it's funny. Alex is laughing. Andrea's not. Wait, are you talking about after the three uh, Reggies? Are you talking about... Uh, if you capture all three Reggies, yeah. then a giant Reggie fils comes out of nowhere and destroys the world. And that would be known as, uh, what is it, Rigigigas or something like that? I don't know. I don't even know what Reggie is. No, it's just is. Reggie fils <laughs> No, but there's another, there's another Reggie out there. That I'm be... saying you capture all those Reggies, then Reggie comes out and destroys the world. Yeah. He's, he's making a joke. And Andrea, Andrea's not pleased with this at all. Yeah, but you do know that there is another one out there, right? Yes, I know that there's that I know there's Reggie Gigas, but I'm saying you're thinking way too much into this. I'm saying you capture so, all of them and boom. So next time we will take on the ice path. What it, killed the dinosaurs? The ice path! Is your body ready for the ice path? <laughs> okay, bye! Next time on Dracon Shadow.